Hello, welcome back to Only Pistols. Today we're having a look at a Walther LP2. This is a single stroke pneumatic 177 target pistol produced from 1967 through to 1972. Let's start by having a look at some of the markings on it. On this side, we've got the Walther banner LP2 Carl Walther Ulm. And on the other side, serial number made in Germany and the German low pressure mark showing it's under six foot pounds. The sights, the handily marked there for elevation and the windage adjustments as well. And those are click adjustable and with a marker so you can record where you are in movement. Also visible on the top there is the top of the valve, which we'll touch on in a minute. So let's have a look at the sights. Fixed notch at the rear and a blade and a fixed blade at the front. For their time, these were excellent sights and still produce a really usable, good sight picture. What else about it? The trigger. For its time, this was an absolutely outstanding trigger. You've got a, an over-travel stop is there adjustable so controls the let off after uh, the, the movement of the trigger after let off and then you've also got adjustments for the first stage travel so where the where the trigger starts and finishes and you've also and I'll just open it up here you've also got the facility to adjust for weight that's quite clever because what you've got is a captive screw and the spring that provides the tension to the trigger is actually wrapped around the back of the screw. So by moving the spring up and down, it changes the pressure that the spring exerts on the trigger. So a very clever system. So single stroke pneumatic. So basically it's a bicycle pump. You have a valve, a pump head on a piston and that pushes air up against the valve, which is closed. When you pull the trigger, the valve gets opened. So on the LP2, what was so new about it was that the valve and everything was mounted vertically in the grip. So when you undo the forward, this lever, and you pull that down, that is pulling the piston down. So that's pulling the piston down and that also cocks the hammer at the hammer. So now to compress the air, you close that back round and it's a compounding link and you pull that over and that's it. You've now compressed the air and the air is now held between the top of the piston and the valve. And the hammer for the valve is vertically as well. So when you release the trigger, the valve comes up and knocks the valve open and that releases the air into the back of the pellet. And to put load the pellet, push that lever up, which allows you to break the unopen. And there you can see the barrel, which is rifled. You insert a pellet. Take up the first stage. And fire. So we'll go through that again in a second but other things of note the body is made of aluminium and the barrel shroud is also an, an aluminium alloy probably a magnesium alloy and you have then got a steel rifled barrel which goes down through the center of that and that nut on the top is to enable you to change the foresight element so you can get thinner ones you wanted to change the sight picture. This one's got wooden grips, so quite a, a reasonable target. Thumb rest, but doesn't come with a palm shelf. Um, this one's been repaired at some point with some epoxy. And again, for their time, that's a really good grip, very ergonom ergonomic. There was an issue by putting 
all of this action up through the center of the grip and that is that the grip itself can't be made a lot smaller so if you've got small hands you're probably going to struggle with this pistol um, purely and simply because you can't adjust the grip very much but for its time most pistols didn't have a great deal of grip adjustment either so it uh, didn't make a lot of difference there so to load it again open the lever all the way up set the hammer you can hear it go clink close that over open the barrel and the standard 177 pellet some people reckon you get a better uh, velocity by starting the pellets actually into the bore slightly by using something like a ballpoint pen um, I've never really found the need for it but it's a thing and that trigger is still really good even today uh, so you know 1967 to 2025 and that's still a really good trigger power wise 375 feet per second so reasonably slow but very very consistent and the other great advantage over all the spring pistols at the time is that once you've cocked the action you've compressed the air that's it when you pull the trigger there is a very small spring moving a small weight to hit the hammer open hit the valve open and release the air so really very little recoil or very little movement in the pistol and that meant that it was incredibly accurate and certainly easier to be accurate with than spring pistols of the time which would be the LP53 mainly and some of the other the original model fives so there you have it the Walther LP2 a single stroke pneumatic an excellent pistol for its time and one of the very first fully target orientated single stroke pneumatic pistols if you've liked this then please like and subscribe Otherwise, I'll see you again soon with another pistol.